What is up, guys? It's PandaGamer2308 here today. I'm just going to be doing a review on the Mortal Kombat Storm Collectibles Baraka 112 action figure series. Um, so, I'm just going to show you the box. So, right here, we have some Mortal Kombat. It says Baraka and 70, age 70 plus, and Storm Collectibles up there. And then, 112 action figure series. Then, right here, we have some artwork of him and then it's actually over here too it makes a whole face right there uh mortal kombat baraka here's the back um here's some of the accessories and poses you could do with him i will show you all those but one thing every a lot of people complaining about which i'm uh, i'm not too happy about is uh these this right here um we thought that was going to be on the front, but it's on the bottom, unfortunately. Same with that. Here is silver, but they're actually white teeth. That's what uh, stinks. But hey, who cares? It doesn't really bother me that much. So, here's this side. Baraka right there. Do a little pose. More from Baraka. So, um... Yeah, let's get Here to it. Is the figure out of the box already looking great? Um, the only thing that I do not like uh is the teeth aren't silver and uh these should be coming out of the front. But I mean I'm fine with that. But I do need to warn you about something. The my things were bent in the package when I got it, when I just opened it. They're bent, but um, all you need is like boiling water or something. But yeah, let's get so to now it. Now I'm gonna show you the accessories. So here are the hands that he comes with. So first he comes with these open palmed hands. You can see that. Some silver nails, great detail. And second, he comes with these kind of, I mean, I guess they're open palm. I really don't know what to call these two because they kind of look the same, but that one has like its finger on. I really don't know. But um, right here, same thing, silver nails, looking nice. Right here are his grip hands, if you want to grip anything. Because I know the new scorpion is coming with a sword the, so that you could put in there maybe, I guess. I don't know, but right there, they do, they have silver nails and they can stretch open kind of. And then here are his fist hands. This is what he comes with on in the package. There's his fist hands. The silver nails. And now I'm going to show you his heads. So here are the heads. If you could see those, let me show you. Here's his open mouth one. And those are just pretty creepy, but... <laughs> But there it is, like I said, what bothers me. These aren't silver, but you know, whatever. And here's the one that comes in the package. Right there, same thing. Pretty cool, black eyes, whatever. So I'm gonna show you what they look like. Here's the closed mouth one that comes in the package. See that? Here is the open mouth one. Let me turn this off real quick. See that? Right there. It's pretty nice. And now I'm going to show you the rest of his accessories. Here is the rest of his accessories. So I'm going to show you first his, uh, the blood ones. So he has, uh, the slice one that goes on the shoulder. Let me show you. Let me get a ninja. Uh, okay, right here. Let's move this. Um, you want to try to get it over his sleeve. Let's see if I could do this. Oh, almost. Like, oh, I can't get it on right now. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna uh, 
don't do it like this, but I'm just gonna do this for an example, even if I, if I can't get this on. It look it looks something like that. Like they just sliced them right there. But try to get it over this. That's that's just do that. Um, I'll see if I can get that, but right here are his bicep swivel. This is where they go. This they go on his bicep swivel, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, right there. That's nice. These, th these could clip on pretty easily. Looks like he's got sliced by Baraka. And here is the blade. Not the blade. What it's called, what it's called. When, um, the blade spark or something. Here it is. It's a nice uh, clear purple. Uh, right there is a peg stand. Like, you could put this. I don't know. Uh, here's a I'm not a peg stand. What, what am I thinking? <laughs> um, a peg goes in here. It's from a certain stand. I, I do not know what that is called. But maybe you could find out. I'm sorry that I don't know. But right there. Looking nice. Just throw it at him. Don't like throw it at him. But. There's all his accessories. Oh wait, actually, I'm sorry. Not all his accessories. Right here, his blades. Blades are right here. This is his long blades, so I will show you what they look like. Sorry. Here's the long blades. Silver. Pretty nice. Looks sharp. Oh, just you just clip them in right here. Why why can't I look at my hand though? <laughs> Go in. I think this is good enough. But that's what it looks like right there. That's what it looks like. So I, I will show you some poses at the end. But now let's get to the paint. So let's do the paint. First up, I'm going to start from his head. His head looks really nice. Um, black eyes. I'm pretty sure this color on his skin is um, tan maybe. Or like peach or something. I really don't know. But that's what it looks like. Paint's nice. It's nicely sculpted too. If you can see those right there. There's a little mark right there. Stretch marks or something. I forget. But um, it's neck nice. I love. This is the MK1 or 2 or 3. I, I, I forget. But there's some red and white. Nice. Black and silver. Black and silver. There's a lot of black and silver. He, there's some red. There's the blood right here and all right here. And then the silver claws that are coming out, like the little ones. Then his silver. Other oh, claws. His hands, silver nails. There's definitely a lot of silver in here. That's probably the most. And his belt, some black silver. Um, I like how it has those lines between them. That's nice. And it's a, it's like a rubbery. You could move them. I do not think you could take it off. No, you can't. Right here, and his jacket's a rubber too. Right there. So you can stretch it out. And some white and black right there. And then his black pants. Some white shoes uh, right on the side. Same thing with the other. And now, let's get to the articulation. So now, I'm going to start for with his head for the articulation. Um, For me, I don't know. His head, I guess if you really, if you count this, his head, I guess, could move up. Not really, though. But um, it can move down. Um... Turns fine. There is a head tilt. Pretty yeah, looks like a good head tilt right there. Um now I'm gonna go to his arms. Right here, uh bicep swivel. Hand I mean shoulders, his arms go fully out. That see that? Double jointed elbows. Looks like 
I do not know what these are called, I forget, but <clears throat> his hands could move. And this is what they look like if you want to take them off so like the peg doesn't come out that easily. Just put them on just like that. <clears throat> and his head the same thing. Take it off. That's what it, that pig looks like. You put it right here. Put it on. Easy. Um, legs could go out. Knees. Don't want to knees. Pretty sure. I forgot to tell you this. Uh, he can. He can crunch. And he can, like, tilt. I'm pretty sure. That's nice. And let's get back to this. So I said, like, double jointed elbows, if you want to do, like, he's kneeing someone. Um, his toes can move. Pretty nice. So, after all, this figure is great. I forgot to um, show you on the back, though. Sorry. So, it looks like from the back. But, like how I was saying... This figure is really, really good. I recommend buying it. Oh, that's, that's my favorite Storm Collectibles that I have so far because I, I have uh, Rain and Goro. But now I'm just going to do a size comparison and uh, nice. yeah, to the Storm Collectibles uh, Ninja Rain and Storm Collectibles Goro. And I am, I'm, I, now I'm going to show you I finally got this on. Cause I couldn't get it on when I was going to, but that's what it looks like. So I'll definitely try to get it over this. But that's what he looks like next to them. <clears throat> Here's him next to the NECA Jason Voorhees. And NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Michelangelo, Comic-Con exclusive. Here's him next to the McFarland Stranger Things. Chief Hopper. And Eleven. Here's him next to the Marvel Legends. Um, Spider-Man Far From Home, spider Norrell or Nor, forget. And the uh, M and the Maw or something like that. I forget his name. I can't really pronounce it, but yeah. That's it for today's video. Guys, please do not forget to like and subscribe. And turn post notifications on. And uh, yeah, see you in my next video.